Hi guys, you are watching the Rainbow and Bloom channel. Welcome to another episode. The Rainbow and Bloom channel, in case you're new here, is a channel about living and thriving with the autoimmune disease called scleroderma, which is an illness that causes overproduction of collagen in the skin and sometimes nightmarish health problems. Um, as a result, it's like three in the morning and this just came to me and I thought, you know, I'd make a video really quick to share this with you before I forgot and because it's been so long. It's been about two weeks since I posted. You know, I've been seeing on YouTube a lot lately and I don't know why this is coming up in my feed, but I see a lot of... Um, stories uh, that people are telling about not having any friends and being lonely and you know it just brings to mind something about having this illness that it can cause a lot of isolation and um and i guess loneliness too because you can't sometimes you lose uh contact with uh friends and you might not be able to be as social as you like and things like that and it can cause, um, I guess, loneliness or at least um, having to be by yourself. And um, there are some things you can do, you know, to help yourself along. A lot of times when you're in like a kind of negative space, you don't want to do anything at all. But, um, you know, there's a difference between being by yourself and being lonely. And it's really important to understand that difference. Just because you're alone doesn't mean you're necessarily lonely. Of course, you know which is which, but you know, the thing is loneliness or at least being alone, both actually, can come and go. And you know, we have seasons, there are seasons in life. Sometimes you're in a season of abundance and sometimes you're in a season of famine and things change people um you know have their own lives and things going on so sometimes where you are isn't in alignment with where people other people in your life are like your friends people you normally hang out with and sometimes you just get out of rhythm and sometimes the time comes that you know you're in a different place and or both of you are in a different place and you need to um, let that relationship go so you can move on. And then you have this time when you're pretty much by yourself. But, you know, I think it's really important to be content with being by yourself for a while. And, you know, it gives you a lot of time to self-reflect. It gives you a lot of time to just get some stuff together in life and even, you know, maybe explore new interests and um, develop yourself in a new way so even if you may not have friends or feel like your friends have abandoned you or, or something like you've lost touch with friends and everything it doesn't necessarily mean that something is wrong it could just be that that's the place in your life where you need to be and you kind of just take it for what it is and you know it's not like unless you're an introvert and don't usually have friends it's probably just something that you know it's gonna pass and it's just a time in your life that you need to just take a break from the norm and do something a little different but um you know another thing about this illness is it can be very overwhelming emotionally and you know when i was very sick you know it felt like for a long time, it felt like I had like an enemy inside me, it was an enemy that I couldn't identify, and, you know, I couldn't touch it or see it, or it was like an invisible enemy that was trying to take me out. And one of the things that really helped me was reading the Psalms in the Bible. The Psalms are just the easiest way if you are not you know familiar with the bible or don't know where to start you know you want to get started but you don't know where to start because one thing about you know the helplessness that being very sick can do is it can bring you closer to god you know um but the psalms are the best way to start and the psalms kept me sane <laughs> uh through all of that stuff and so whether you're feeling lonely 
or you feel like you're struggling and, and at war with this um, invisible enemy that's kind of overwhelming you and you know you need some relief you get to this desperate place where you need some gotta hold on to something I would recommend the Psalms and one Psalm in particular I wanted to tell you about is Psalm 142 it's really short but it touches on a lot of those um, emotions like that feeling of desperation and um, just kind of feeling like you know you got to grab onto something and it helps me a lot and it's partly why I'm here today is because of my faith and because I kind of like just surrendered and tried to listen and got really close to God so I just wanted to read it um, some of it to you and it starts off, I cried unto the Lord with my voice, with my voice unto the Lord did I make my supplication. I poured out my complaint before him. I shewed before him my trouble. When my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. In the way wherein I walked, have that have they privily laid a snare for me i looked on my right hand and behold but there was no man that would know me refuge failed me no man cared for my soul and that's kind of um reflective of like that feeling of like nobody can really help you and sometimes people even abandon you. I mean, I got abandoned by a couple of friends that I had been really close to before and literally abandoned after I got very sick and they knew that I was sick, like they knew I was in the hospital and never visited or called to see how I was or anything until after the fact, after I came through it. So, you know, it's that feeling of just being, um, you know, I, I obviously, I had a lot of family and other people, you know, in my life. I was not abandoned by everyone in my life, but, you know, the people sometimes that you really expect to be there for you disappear on you. And so the last two is, I cried unto thee, O Lord. I said, thou art my refuge and my portion in the land of the living. Attend unto my cry. For I am brought very low. Deliver me from my persecutors. For they are stronger than I. Like this illness. Like it was like I there's nothing I can do. And there's nothing much that anyone else can do to really get to what it is that was causing it you know they tell you they don't know what causes it and they can treat the symptoms but they can't stop it from happening to you and it just felt like an enemy and so that this really resonated with with me um it says bring my soul out of prison that i may praise thy name the righteousness shall thy righteousness shall compass me about for thou shalt deal bountifully with me. And so that last verse, thou shalt deal bountifully with me, is like where I am, you know. I came out of that prison and it felt like purgatory. <laughs> and now I can live my life and pursue my purpose. And so um, I just wanted to recommend that that psalm in particular, but also there's so many of them um, that you could use to kind of nourish you in the spirit realm of your life. And um, you might be, if you haven't already tried reading the psalms, I, you might be really surprised at what, um, how some of them can really resonate with where you are. Because a lot of, the, you know, they're, they're cries for help, a lot of these psalms. Praises, but also cries for help. And, um, yeah, so that's what I recommend. So I'm going to try to be more consistent. And just stick with me. And I hope all is well. Be strong. Be brave. Be 
resilient, be encouraged, and I'll talk to you next time. Bye.